You know, I've been collecting SH figure arts since 2012, and never did I think that I'd see the day that they would make an Ahegio face for one of the characters. <laughs> What's up, everyone? Thank you for joining us once again on the D-Star Zero One channel. I'm your host, Dexter Raffulis, and today we'll be looking at the P-Bandai exclusive SH figure. It's, um, I always thought it was Turles, but it's too little, too late, Tolesi? No, I, I always thought it was Turles. Anyway, let me know what you think down in the comments down below. Is it Turles or Tolesi or whatever? I always thought it was Turles. Anyway, this is a P-Bandai exclusive. This is really cool. And unfortunately, you cannot get this at www.dstartoys.com or level search for awesome action figures because he is an exclusive. Before we go further into the review, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you're always in the know when I post new videos. Now, let's get into this review. Let me tell you exactly how I feel. I think this is one of the best SH figure arts released to date. Uh, <laughs> uh, and I think that's because I'm so biased. Uh, one of the first Dragon Ball Z, or Dragon Ball, or heck, anime in general, movies, as far back as I can remember, in 1993 or 1994, around there, we saw a non-subtitled Tree of Might. All five of us found this video, or someone gave us this video, and we put it in, and we were like, What is this? This is so cool! And we watched it all the way through and we didn't understand a thing they were saying so i have a lot of memories of the tree of might and it's been one of my favorite anime movies to date now that this character is out i have to say it's great it's fantastic no issues whatsoever um okay there's 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 always going to be issues i can never say a figure is 100 percent perfect but for me i think this is one of the best looking most articulated, feature-rich SH figure arts to date. And unfortunately, ah, why is he an exclusive? This should be available to everyone. That is my honest opinion on this figure. This is a great toy. I love it. I really wish we could sell it. I wish they mass-produced him. But unfortunately, he is an exclusive. So that's how I feel. Now that that's over with, let's jump right into paint and detail, articulation and scale, and accessory. Let's move this box aside. And let me tell you, this face is absolutely amazing. Uh, I think this is pretty much Goku with a tan. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty much what he looks like in the movie. And I have to say, it looks like he jumped right out of the movie. He has awesome paint apps. I love the dark tone on the skin, the, um, the scouter, the hair, even with these quote-unquote devil horns in the Goku hair, showing that he's more of an evil version of Goku. The Saiyan armor and everything like that. The tail, very nice. Um, he doesn't have too much of a matte finish on the skin, but honestly, I have no issue with that. And just everything looks really, really cool. Another thing I have to say is the half cape, the half piccolo cape, looks really really good as well it kind of has like this off-white with a little bit of shading and um, hints of black in there it looks really really solid so when it comes to his paint and detail I mean just look at this guy he looks absolutely amazing with the armor looking somewhat shiny and then we have like uh, the gray parts are, are uh, a little bit matte whereas the black parts are a shiny gloss finish and it looks really cool so let me take the head off and I'll show you how he looks like without it. And also, which is really cool right here. So uh, one detail I have to tell you is that it is concaved in there to fit this part right here. So you don't have to uh, remove it, which is really nice and well designed. So here's how he looks like without the cape. Now let's look deeper into that. And as I said before, the armor kind of has a matte finish on the gray parts. And the chest piece is a shiny gloss black. Look at this, guys. Absolutely amazing. So just because he looks good, does it mean that he is articulated well? That's what the question is. But before we go into our articulation, we need to see how tall this guy is standing. We got our trusty ruler here. At the very tippy top of the hair, we're looking at it six and a quarter inches. So here is my 
custom. And he's not a custom, okay? I only added like a little, uh, um, what do you call it? Senzu bean pouch on this Goku because someone on our Discord requested it. I might make these, we'll see. But anyway, here is a superhero Goku, as you can see. They're about the same height. Obviously, Turles will be much bigger in terms of musculature and width as he is in the movie. Here is the SH Figure Arts P Bandai exclusive Gohan Kid Gohan yelling. And of course, we have the brand new Krillin. 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 I always call him Krillin. And let's see how he stands here. I really need to get Ten Shin Han in here because I do have. Um, still, I need to repair this one, even though I have joints. I keep forgetting to put the, don't have time to put it. But anyway, uh, this is pretty much the characters that are in the Tree of Might movie, uh, so far. Uh, I do have, like I said, I do have Ten Shin Han and Chiaotzu, but, uh, I don't have them with me. So look at that. That's pretty cool. I mean, he's scaled really, really well. So let's put all these figures aside and let's talk about articulation. So this is the one thing I really love about this figure. I didn't think they were going to do it. Um, you know, maybe I, it was an afterthought after I purchased him or after I received him. I didn't think he was going to come with um, version 3 joints in the legs, and he does. And this benefits this figure a lot because you can get a lot of solid kicks in this guy, which is really, really cool. So let's talk about articulation. We have an up and down here at the toe. We have an ankle joint right there, double jointed knee, lots of high kicking action, lots of movement right here in the legs, and the armor pieces are also articulated. We're gonna count that. So there's three armor pieces right there at the waist, which is really, really nice. Uh, we have two rotatable joints right here at the waist, and of course we have butterfly joints, which are really, really nice. And the butterfly joints will supplement the cross arms, which I'll show you in a bit. Um, and we also have a true bicep, say it with me people, swivel, and that's pretty cool. And we have a double jointed elbow, ball and peg here at the wrist, two at the neck, looking to be well above 20 points of articulation. Can he do the infamous superhero landing pose? And so far, yes he can. So that's how he's going to look after he lands on earth and plants the tree of might which is pretty, pretty cool. So let's get another pose right here. Of course, we have front kick right there, side kick right there. Let's get him in a punch right here. Bam, look at that. And a sure you can. And also all the armor pieces, you know what? I keep forgetting these two are also articulated. Um, kind of get out of the way. As you can see, I've been playing with him right here and nothing has been falling off or um, like getting loose. That's because this figure is well designed. <laughs> they were thinking, hey, people are probably going to pose and play with this guy. So they got to um, make stuff move around. And it looks like they did a really good job of that. So lots of articulation points. This guy is definitely one of my favorites this year so far. Uh, I mean, I have really no big complaints about turtles here. Let's talk about our accessories. Let's go to the top cam. Now... This adds a lot to the package of this figure. And again, this kind of makes me wish. Why? Why did they make this as an exclusive? This is easily one of their best. Uh, this is when SH Figure Arts brings everything to the table and they give you everything that you need, right? So you have cross arms, which are newly designed, which I will show you in a bit. And you get three extra faces. You get the Hagio face, the screaming face, and you also get the grinning face. And you also get the hand holding one of the fruits. Which is pretty cool. And also, you get right here, extra hands. And of course, his special move, which took me a minute <laughs> to look up. I forgot what it was called. It's called Kill Driver. And this is a really cool effect piece, which we will look at. Actually, right now. Let's look at that right now. And so here's the Kill Driver effect piece. Looks really cool. And now let's go to the front cam so we can see uh, how it looks uh, better, more detail. And it looks like we get an electric silver effect and the gold ring. And here's something that's really cool about this. These are actually somewhat bendable. These are not like rigid. This is really nice. 
uh, and you do get two separate um, pieces to attach to the hands. You get one that's bent and then you get one that's straight. And ideally, you want to use the one that's bent. So you put the ball joint into the center right here. And then we're going to look at the hands here. And then these two hands have sockets in them. And so what you do is you place them into the socket like so. Like that. And so since the, the angled one is a little bit to the right or left or facing towards the middle, you want to take this other hand, and so then you'll have the effect piece ready to go, like so. Boom, there's this kill driver move right there, which is pretty dope. And they don't usually give you an effect piece with your Dragon Ball figures anymore. No Kamehamehas, no special beam cannons, nothing like that. And this is something different. <laughs> it shouldn't be different, but it is. Uh, you get an effect piece, which is really, really cool. Now, let's talk about something that everyone has come across. And it's uh, come across, get it, because he's crossing his arms. Um, and this has always been an issue with everybody. I've noticed whenever they release a figure with cross arms, it either doesn't fit, the pegs snap, out, snap off, and um, I have to repair it for people. <laughs> And I was wondering what can really be done to solve this issue. And I think they solved it with turtles here. So what you see here, and let's talk about this. I hope other reviewers will talk about this because this needs to be on every cross arm figure. So what this is, this is kind of like a reinforced ball socket. Instead of the usual, they just kind of mold it in the socket into the arm this is more of a reinforcement right here and what this does this prevents it from being really really tight it might actually give it some give so it could pop in really well actually and to my surprise this works almost too well and this is something that they should they should have done a long time ago but then again hindsight's 2020 and we don't expect these to break so as you can see Look how easy this is to pop in. Usually, cross arms are difficult to get in, um, and people mess up all the time. These are a little bit easier, or actually, they're a lot easier. What am I talking about? They are a lot easier to fit in. And let's see if we can focus up there. Sorry. Yeah, and look at that. That works. It just works. It snaps in. It pops right in really easily, and it doesn't have any issues. And so look how easy it is also to pop off. No issue. Wow. I have to commend figure arts whenever they improve something. And this is a major improvement over uh, what they've been doing. Okay, let's put this guy back together and I'll show you the faces. So we have him back together somewhat. Let's get the fruit hand right here. And that pops in really nicely. So he can have that uh, eating. And okay, I know, it's not truly an Ahegio face, okay? <laughs> but it looks like one. Um, yeah, so this is supposed to be the eating apple face. <laughs> I just think it's so silly. Uh, and it's supposed to be used whenever he's holding it and taking a bite out of it, as you can see right there. <laughs> it, it's silly, but it's it's there, and and I accept it. There's there's really no issues with it. Also, the uh, the scouter can be removed and put on all the faces, which is really cool. Um, so there we go. Let's look at this other one. There's a yelling face. And then here's a grinning face. And you can have him like get really angry right here. Kakarot! And that looks really cool. Now, let's come to the conclusion of the SH Figure RSP Bandai Tulisi Turtles. I'm going to call them Turtles. Yeah, this is my favorite figure so far this year. It's only February. Uh, we'll see what other figures come out. But yeah, this is my favorite. 
Uh, unfortunately, he's a P Bandai exclusive, and you can't really get him right now at the retail price, which I believe was eighty bucks. So he's even pricey, even if he was uh, if he was uh, retail. But I think he's worth it. Look how much cool stuff you get. You get all the hands. You get the effect piece. Um, you get the cape. You get different hands and everything like that. He comes with everything I expect figure arts to come with, which is fantastic okay i have no issues with this figure and unfortunately he cannot be bought <laughs> at retail anyway guys thanks for watching do not forget to rate comment and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're always in the know when i post new videos and if you're looking for awesome action figures you know where to go you can go to www.dstartoys.com and you search for awesome action figures and i'll see you guys next time peace So, rate, comment, and subscribe right here, right there, right here. Yeah.